Hello everyone and welcome to day 38 of my 90 day personal challenge to create positive videos. Today we're on day three of relationships and we're going to talk about attraction. Believe it or not, attraction says more about you than it does about the person you're attracted to. What do I mean by this? Well, if you take a look at what it is that you are attracted to in the other person and the level of energy that you have towards that feeling, it will show you what it is that you are wanting to get fulfilled and the need that you're wanting to be met in your life currently. For example, if you look at a person and you're physically attracted to them and you can hardly even see anything beyond the physical attraction that you have for them, you're probably wanting to have some sexual need met. You may feel that this is an area of life that you're um, wanting to have more of. It could be more sex. It could be more intimacy. It could be more connection in that way. And so you're going to be uh, more attracted to the physical aspect of the person. Now, if you are a person that is wanting more emotional connection or just companionship or friendship, you may be more attracted to the side of the person that is playful and likes to do things and has um, the same kind of hobbies you have. If you are attracted to someone that is financially successful and uh, very independent that way, you may be attracted to that part of them because you're wanting to feel stronger and more financially responsible and independent in your own life. So pay attention to what you're attracted to in another person because that will actually show you what it is that you're wanting to grow in in your life. Now, does that mean that we are not meant to be with the other person or that we're just using the other person to meet some kind of need? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. In, in all honesty, what is relationship all about? Is it all unconditional? Is it the fact that you just want to give love to someone without receiving something in return? In my opinion, there is a little bit of an exchange here. When we're attracted to something in another person, it's we're wanting to receive something from their energy and who they are. And we want to use that to help us feel fulfilled. Is that a bad thing? I don't think it's a bad thing. Oh, I don't think anything's bad. But I think the healthiest way to be in a relationship is when we're receiving something from someone else that we're also in the exchange giving something in return. And this is where we see attraction grow and lead into something that builds relationships. How does it do that? Well, if I'm attracted to you and you're meeting a need in me and it feels good, I'm going to feel um, very positive emotions. Well, in exchange, if you're getting something from me and you're feeling fulfilled on that end, then you're going to feel good too. And so if we're attracted to the things that we're giving to each other, that attraction is going to grow. And if we allow that attraction to grow naturally, it can de develop into a very healthy and beautiful relationship. Now, where can this go wrong? Well, where this can go wrong is is if we are needing what's in the other person to fulfill us internally and we are identified with it and we need what's in that other person for our self-esteem, pretty soon we are going to become needy and we are only going to use the person to fulfill the need within us instead of ever even getting to know the real person we're with. This becomes unsatisfactory because the other person feels that lack of connection when they don't feel seen or heard or understood. Now, let me ask you, have you ever been in a relationship like that? I bet you probably see a lot of relationships like that. There are so many people out in this world that are having relationships with other people for the needs that that can be met within them instead of actually appreciating or um, connecting with the person behind the energy of the need being fulfilled. Now, I know that was a little bit deep, but let's see if we can make it simpler. If you're going out with someone and you're only going out with them because you have a desire for lots of sex, but you never get to know the person's heart, 
they're going to be able to meet that physical need for you, but you're only going to be able to get so far in that relationship. Once you hit the wall of getting so far in that relationship, you'll probably get bored. You'll probably get cold in the relationship. There will probably be separation. And then your attraction is going to start to shift maybe to another person um, or another circumstance in order to get that meet that need met again because you've hit a wall with this person. They're not satisfying that need for you anymore because the real person coming out of them is either too much work or it is um, a turnoff for you. What do we do in those cases? Well, attraction is a huge and powerful tool to show you who you are in this space and the needs that you are wanting internally met. It is a great way to have those needs met in the moment as you're feeling them, but at the same time doing the internal work of growing and appreciating and filling those needs for yourself. When we're attracted to another person, that is a very powerful and sexy energy that can bring um, us each individually to powerful spaces in our lives. And when we are attracted to each other and we positively um, grow and support one another, then that attraction will just continue to um, bring fireworks into our own personal growth and into the dynamic dynamic of a relationship <laughs> If we allow it. But one thing to be aware of is if you're attracted to um, someone and you have that need met and you're only using that person to fulfill that need instead of actually getting to know them, then that attraction is going to be short lived. But if you use that attraction to fuel your own personal growth and to offer and give back to someone in a very positive way, then that attraction will grow into fireworks that will be unending and that has the potential to create the most beautiful and fulfilling life and relationship that you want. Anyway, I hope I made sense to you. Go get attracted or take a look at your attraction um, in the relationships in your life and see how you can use them to positively serve others and yourself at the same time to experience life in the most passionate and beautiful way. I hope this video was inspiring to you and encouraged you in some way. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to me on YouTube. And if you liked it, share it with your friends. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Anyhow, I hope you have a wonderful day that you see something beautiful, and that the most beautiful thing you see today is you. I'll see you on the next video.